Well, Bruce, what's the news on Dijuan? Um, not the worst, but not not the best. Uh, you know, not not the uh, not anything severe, but definitely. Uh, you know, it's 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 going to be probably longer than quicker uh, the recovery, but it it was it was not a Jones fracture, which which was our first fear. Um, at, you know, after they they um, did the first examination, so which is good. But uh, knowing him, you know, we didn't think last time he'd be able. This is the other foot. Uh, we didn't think last time he would come back like he did as quick as he did. Uh, you know, he's got, you know, a great drive, a good pain tolerance. Uh, he already put in a lot of time with Luke yesterday and this morning. Um, you know, he wants sooner than later, but, uh, you know, we'll just have to see how he responds. Uh, a different injury than just a, than just a sprain. Okay. Um, how did you feel like the team handled, you know, him not being available the other day in the lineup? I, I mean, I, I think they did fine. I, I mean, it's obviously he, you know, somebody brought it up after the game. He leads us on to play hard, not only leads us, but he's, I think he's 30 or 40 next to the next one and probably 50 over the other guys. So, you know, he, we, we miss his energy. His, you know, he's, our, I think he's our leading rebounder. Um, you know, we will miss that. Um, but, you know, there's, I thought the other guys came in. Obviously, he's got more experience than than maybe Luke and Selton. But um, you know, we had a chance to win the game. We we battled. We did a lot of good things. Um, I, I really thought if we held them in the fifties, we would have won the game. That was our goal. Uh, they got forty four in the second half. We had some breakdowns on the defensive end, um, and they made some shots and they made free throws. They normally shoot. I think it was 65 or even less and they go 22 for 26 and, um, and they, you know, Chandler stepped up, made some threes. And um, so it just, it's a, it was a, obviously a tough loss, tough loss for our guys, but at least, uh, you know, I thought we made some progress as a team and, 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 and did some good things. Now, can we, you know, the big question is, can we keep going forward? Even though we have, a, as obviously have another setback without days one. And uh, I mean, KU, they're struggling a little bit more than usual, but they always seem to bring it when they play you guys. What's your scouting report on the Jayhawks right now? Well, they, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, they, they've had their struggles also, not, not as severe as ours, but they've lost four to five for them. That's, you know, that's not uh, a normal thing. Um, they've, they've had some shooting woes and that, you know, that's what worries me the most is, um, you know, I, I, I think when, if, if they don't shoot it well, obviously that's to our benefit. Uh, you know, they, I think the big thing is we got to stay in front of them and keep them out of the paint. Obviously Garrett's very, very good at getting to the paint. They have started throwing it inside a lot to uh, McCormick. They go to their, uh, you know, they've been going to their big guy more kind of like uh, a little more confidence with him trying to find some scoring because they haven't shot it well. So we got to, we got to do a great job of preparation of some of their quick hitters where they feed the post that they they've been really good at in the past. Um, I, I would, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls out, a, you know, some kind of gimmick defense, he's ran triangle and two and, and boxing one. And, you know, he's used the zone against us. So, um, you know, we, we got to, you know, they need a win. We need a win. Uh, you know, every, both teams hopefully will come uh, in a, in a special rivalry come in and get after it. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, what do you do lineup related with in uh, Deshaun's absence? I mean, I, I think the, you know, Selton would move back in. Uh, Antonio had a good, good stretch for us, um, gave us a nice boost. Uh, we just need some consistency out of both those guys. I mean, Luke's going to play. Uh, I don't think you can play big against them because, you know, they really play small most of the game. Um, you know, obviously if they would go big that we'd be able to match it with, with Casey Davion, Carlton, Surrey, uh, you know, so it, it's uh, a little different game. We thought the other day we could play some big, which we did. 
uh, even though they went little and they they took advantage of us a little bit when they went little and their uh, Miller and, and flags uh, made some, you know, had some points in that one stretch that, you know, was maybe the difference or one of the differences in the game. So, uh, I mean, Luke's got to play, uh, you know, we don't, you know, he Luke played the other night, I think 15, 16 minutes. He very, very solid. Did a nice job on defense. Uh, you know, we don't have, there's not a whole lot of choices to be honest. So, uh, you know, hopefully those guys, you know, stay out of foul trouble and, and, uh, you know, a couple guy, a couple other guys got to make some shots. Uh, I mean, that when you study the stats, it's it's pretty obvious that you know, uh, one, do we we got to be a little more patient, get to the free throw line, get the ball inside, get in the paint, and then two, if we're going to shoot threes, we we got to step up and make them. And Nigel the other day mentioned some shooting refinements. Have those come since he was on campus, and what have those uh, consist of? I mean, we've worked with them, obviously, uh, you know, it, 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 we put a lot of time in the shooting. I don't obviously, <laughs> or it hasn't shown that, you know, and I think we're better shooters than we, than we have shown. I, I think some of it's confidence. Uh, I think I know with Rudy, with, uh, uh, you know, with Luke, you know, just some of it experience and getting out there. Selton, Selton was, I mentioned after, I think after the game the other day, he was in the forties and in high school and, and, you know, we, we need some of those guys to make some of those open shots, which will hopefully spread the defense and then allow us to get in the paint. Uh, Antonio it would be nice too. But, uh, you know, Nigel, when he, we were talking about one of his workouts in return to uh, return to play, and he hit 80 out of 100 threes. Um, when we did it, you know, we were, we tracked the threes or we tracked the shots and his return to play how many shots he's allowed each day, kind of pushing himself. And one of them, he, you know, like I say, made 80 out of a hundred. So, you know, we've talked a lot with him about footwork. We've talked a lot with about using, getting his legs and, and that follow through at the end. And uh, obviously he was, he was pretty, he had a night, a special night the other night. It would have been nice to have a win with him. Has he worked on a quicker release or do you know exactly what, what he's worked on? No, I think just being ready, uh, you know, legs, legs, feet, footwork, that's, what, you know, that's what shooting is. And, and that's what we've really tried to emphasize. And I think he had to go through it. Um, I mean, he said it, I think I've said, uh, you know, what he's told me before on, on the media that, you know, Hey, it's a, it's an adjustment. You don't realize how quick and physical and athletic uh, the college game is. Uh, I kind of laughed. Carlton was on a radio show the other day and he said he watched the games last year and thought, man, I, this, this, you know, I think I can be all right in this, you know, playing against these guys. And then you get here and you find out, Hey, this is a whole nother level. And, uh, you know, you got to adjust and learn and, and grow. And, and that's, uh, that's what those guys are going through. Thanks, Bruce. Hey, Uh, other questions? Okay. Next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. What do you see from KU? What What has been kind of the source of their issues, if you want to call it that, for Kansas this season? Well, I, I think shooting is is one of the things. I think that's you look at their stats overall. Uh, shooting, it's it's dropped. Uh, you know, since they got in conference. Obviously, the conference is really good. Um, you know, they I, and I said it. Uh, I don't know if to you guys, I, I've done so many Zooms, maybe the other media, uh, the TV guys, but, uh, you know, they, they don't have that true experienced point guard. And, you know, you think about Dotson and you think about Mason, these guys, you know, they're, they're NBA players. And when you have that and then you have, you know, big fellas inside, uh, you know, how do you form a team? You get a point guard, a leader. You get a, a big man inside. You're, you know, it's the old Al McGuire and Dick Vitale. Get the get your jet. You know, get your leader, your general, get your aircraft carrier, or whatever, and battleship inside. And and they've had that. And then they've mixed in obviously very very talented players around that that you know that it, it that make them effective. So I, 
you know, they just, they have Garrett's a really, really good player. And when they had Garrett and Dotson last year, you had two point guards. So both of them were creating and, and that, you know, it made them so effective. Now they, they got some young, good guards coming up. They just are, are freshmen. And you look at Frank Mason when he was a freshman, Bill did not love playing him. I mean, I, you know, we, we always thought, man, he's good, but then he would make a mistake and he, and the same thing with Dotson, you know, obviously he had uh, Mason there, but uh, you know, it's, it, 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 those guys will, you know, they'll get better. And uh, I'm sure they'll, they've hit a little bit of a, a, a slay, you know, a, a dip here, but I'm sure they'll have a good finish to the season. And were you a little bit uh, surprised to see June Taylor talking about your status uh, and with a couple of reporters this week weekend? I, I'll be honest. I don't even know if he okay. did or not. I don't know. So. Okay. Um, was, was Saturday refreshing? I know you lost, but uh, to be in a game, to see how your guys responded and, and to have a guy like Nigel step up. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I was happy and I was sad. Uh, I mean, I wanted it so badly for our guys. Uh, they, you know, we've gone through so much, um, uh, you know, we've, we, you know, when you talk about being tested every day, uh, it, it's hard and, uh, you know, it, it, it makes it tough. So it, it, they came, I thought they came back with great energy and, um, uh, you know, they battled their tail off and, you know, that's, that's all, that's all we can ask for. Nice coach. And it was really good, you know, for Nigel. I, I mean, it, you know, he was, you know, we put a lot of pressure on him. I said, I didn't want to put so much pressure on him coming back, uh, you know, 30 some, you know, I had hoped the other day to keep him in the twenties and build up to 30, but you, you know, we had, you know, playing him 37, 38 minutes. And, and there were a couple of times he just, he was popped and that, you know, and we had to use our timeouts just to give a little bit of rest, but he, he stepped up and he was, he was pretty good. Okay, uh, another question to Kellis Robinette. One thing that did kind of pique my interest in the AM game was uh, Davion. I think he played 27 foulless minutes and then took a, a long breather on the bench. Was he just winded or was there some strategy involved with that choice? I mean, it, you know, just to keep him fresh and, and you know, Casey got, went in and, and got a couple things done. We needed to rotate. We had played him a lot of minutes and, uh, you know, they went, they went little. Uh, Casey's a little bit better, you know, probably on the perimeter than he is. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, if we're pushing 20, I, I joked a while ago, he had never played. He had played some. Be careful not to overdo it. Okay. And um, I know just given some of the history you guys have had with KU in recent years, do you, do you still talk to the guys for this game, telling them no matter what, just keep cool heads? Um, yeah, I, I definitely uh, – I was watching our game last year, and it, it, it hit me late, late last night that I got to make sure I talk to uh, them about, you know, what happened last year was, it was not the right way to have any game finish, whether it's against them or anyone else. And – uh, we got to make sure we, we keep our poise and, and play the right way and act the right way. All right. I like that uh, picture of Wes you got back there in the green Mavericks jersey. That's yeah, the old school. The old yeah. school. Yep. Yeah. 